Hi ladies, I'm back today with my surprise um, that I talked about for my silicone work. And y'all might recognize what this is because I've showed you before some different types. This, yeah, it is a um, mold for a new silicone baby that I will be creating. And it's going to be a partial silicone, which means it has, it's going to have a silicone head and silicone limbs. And it's going to have a soft body, cloth body. So here is the head, and this is what we call the mother mold. The mother mold is um, made out of dragon skin silicone. It's very firm silicone. And over top of that, just so I sh you can see, whoop, did not want to do that. This is what they call the, the hard plaster. It's very hard. It may not cooperate. She's not going to cooperate. And this is the Ashley mold, but you can kind of get the idea. This is how it would go. It would have two pieces here. The mother mold is two pieces, and it goes like this. And when you pour it, I will turn it upside down like this. Of course, it's going to go a little bit more snuggly. Snuggly. You know, snuggly. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. So it would be, you know, better in line here. But this is just roughly, because I'm doing it with one hand to show you. This is how it would go, and this is the head I just showed you, and I would pour the silicone into here, and then it would cure. It would wait about five or six hours at least. So I want to show you that. That's the mother mold, and it's a very hard plaster. And it's cool because the mother mold is called a mother mold because it holds the glove mold into place. Keeps it from getting squished. So I'm going to hold up like I did before so you can see the face. I like how cute this baby's face is. Can you see that? She's sleeping. It's called the Ashley Mold. And this was made and sculpted and created by Boz Babies. I have a few other of her molds, which I'm very happy to say. She does beautiful work. And there is one of the ears here. One of the ears there. And here's I'm trying to let you see. You can see the face. See the sleeping eyes and little nose and little mouth. And I'm really going to try hard, ladies. I'm going to perfect my um, practice and perfect my silicone pouring and painting. So I am going to try to offer these um, partial silicones out of this mold for sale. I'm going to try to do that. And just be aware it will be a boo-boo baby because, like I said, I don't have, I have about two years experience now. But that's still quite early. So there is the head. Here is a leg. And I just will show you what it looks like. Isn't that cool? It's all squishy. You're not going to hurt it. I can squish it around. Like I said, this is a glove mold. It's squishy like a big thick latex glove, I guess you would, could say. And I showed you how it would pour into it. And um, this is a leg. And I don't have the mother mold on. I just want to show you. Whoops. But this is how it looks with half of the mother mold on. See? This is a leg and she has... This baby could be a boy or a girl, but I call her she because it was sculpted as a she. But, um... It'll be easier if I just put it down. <laughs> Sorry. She has bent up legs, as you can see. Her legs are curled up. See her legs? This is her foot. And her legs are curled up. She will be the size of a large preemie or small newborn size, which is a nice size. So there's your two legs. And I'm going to show you something different. This is a mold that her arms are going to come out of. This is one arm. And this is another arm. And this is called a block mold. Now this whole thing is like, well, it's not, it's, mm, it's like the size, not really of a small shoebox, but you get the idea. It's like a small tote size and that's actually I think what you can make the mold out of you pour it into that but okay so this is the same thing now this when I talked about the dragon skin which is the heavy or the thick this is dragon skin the thick silicone this is dragon skin too and it's made like a block so what you do the impression is inside of the arm so what you do is you just pour you set it up like this and you pour the silicone into that hole and it goes all down, and you got to kind of move it around a little bit, and it will make an arm. So I've got two, one for each arm. And then what you have to do, 
before we pour it. See this crack here? Where it's not it's made to be like that. I'm going to show you. So what you would do before you poured the silicone in, you would take some more of the dragon skin that's fresh, it's not dried yet, and you seal the seam up with the dragon skin so that it won't leak out. And these are heavy, a little heavy. But I'm really interested because I do ha I have poured other um, molds, like a box, what they call a box mold or block mold. I've poured other ones. Um, not one this big, and it's one for each arm. But I have poured on them, so I'm familiar with that. And there's Mary. Yes, yeah, she's getting done. We got her wig. She's completely painted. We did get her wig and a couple dresses. We're just waiting on getting her some weighting material. Um, as soon as that's done, then me and my husband are going to put her together because I need help. And that's my son's schoolwork books, back to homeschool books. Um... So, just to let you know, there she is. She's waiting. And excuse my mess if you see any mess in here. But this is the other, um, the other conjoined twin that I'm in the process of painting. You can see her face and her arms. And, um, she will be for sale. Down here, I'm just showing real quick. I hope my customer is not looking because she wants to be surprised. But these are little customs I'm doing for my friend. Tiny little babies down there. So just kind of wanted to show you today what it, what another um, silicone a mold for silicone baby looks like. And like I said, this is the glove mold. And over that goes the mother mold. Holds the glove mold all snugly, just like a mommy would. Mother mold's the hard protective plaster. And then we've got a box mold here, or block mold or box mold. For the arms and you pour the silicone in that hole so just want to show you that today i'm not going to be on here long i want to give you a quick update and like i said i'm kind of excited because um boz babies is a wonderful sculptor and a very kind lady at that um so i'm very excited i have had good success with her molds before and it does matter ladies and uh, um the type of molds some can be more difficult to pour than others and some can be like temperamental and you don't get as good of a pour or the baby coming out doesn't look as good but I've always had very good um I don't say luck but I've always had very good success in pours with Boz Babies um her molds so I'm happy to get another one of her molds in my collection and I'm gonna be working on that and like I said I hope that I can keep practicing if you ladies will bear with me and I will offer this um because it's a beautiful little baby. I will offer. She's a partial. Um, I am going to offer them for sale. It's going to be at a boo-boo price. Because they're not going to be perfect. Like I said, I'm still practicing with the silicone painting and pouring. But just to let you know, they will be offered sometime this year. Um, I always keep the first pour. And then after that, I will be. Um, I don't still don't do customs. So what I'll do is I'll complete the baby and then put it up. For adoption and you'll be able to adopt the baby then anyway I, I appreciate each and every one of you I will talk to you tomorrow just want to show you um, this new mold that is in the nursery and she's gonna be getting ready there she is could be a boy or girl she's a very pretty very pretty baby so I will talk to you soon stay safe and stay blessed